back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Lexi and today is episode 3 of my Animal Crossing New Horizons Let's Play series. Last time that I worked on this island we had just finished up getting the house I paid off my home payment with a bunch of nook miles and now here we are to continue. So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we do need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now? This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, Lexi. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and the wallpaper, and you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture that you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more! All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun! Which brings us to... Your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells, please! I love how he acts like that's cheap, because realistically, if this was real life money, that is quite a lot. And hear me out on this, but Tom Nook is honestly overly hated. Admittedly, I have kind of participated in that just a little bit, but in my defense, it's kind of just because it's funny. I feel like it's a community joke in the Animal Crossing community, but when you break it down, Tom Nook really isn't that bad. Like, if anything, he is one of the most lenient landlords in the entire world, if you can really call him one, because he's super lenient about the payments. You can pay over time if you'd like to, where if this was an actual person that you bought a house from, they would not be that lenient by any means. So really? Tom Nook isn't that bad! So here is where we need to help Timmy. We have to get 30 of each kind of wood and 30 iron nuggets. Alright you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty nervous about trying to get the iron nuggets. The wood, not so much, because I feel like this is just a matter of getting a flimsy axe, hitting all the trees until I get enough wood. I don't think that's gonna be too hard. But I'm kind of worried about the iron nuggets. I say that because I feel like they don't spawn as easily as getting a certain amount of wood. Additionally, I'm trying not to use Treasure Islands too too much for this island. I want to do, for the most part, all of my own work to get things done. So I feel like getting iron nuggets might be kind of difficult. And if we really struggle that hard, I probably will go ahead and go to Treasure Island. But I'm hoping that it doesn't end up going that way. RIP you guys, I just went and checked I was going to craft a flimsy axe. And I don't even have the recipe, so now I have to go get one. Alright, so we do unfortunately have a small problem. I do not have a flimsy axe, and I don't think I have a shovel really either, so I can't really get the materials for Timmy, unfortunately. But what I can do is get some fish and some bugs for Tom Nook, because I believe this is also the exact time where we need to get all of those to donate to him so we can give them to Blathers and we can get the museum. So let's go on a spree of catching some bugs and some fish. And I do thankfully have a flimsy net and two flimsy fishing rods that shouldn't be an issue. I think we should go fishing first. Let's go fishing. I'm going to make a goal where I try and catch five fish and five bugs. I don't mind if there's any repeat ones, given it is ideal to not have repeats, but I'm probably just going to sell the repeats, so it's okay. I was going to go fishing, and then I saw these, and I think if I creep up on them, I should be able to catch them, but let's see. Let's see if I can pull this off. Sometimes it's really hard to catch them just because they are kind of skittish. They run away pretty fast if you're even remotely too loud by them. Let's see. I can't see if they're in front of me still because my character is blocking them. Did I get one? I did! Okay, cool. It kind of looks like a cockroach, but like a sea cockroach. We have finally found our very first fish. I feel like the fish might be easier than the bugs, but then again, I'm not really sure. I did catch a bug before I caught a fish. So we'll see, but I have a feeling we might catch more fish than bugs. And let's see, our first catch of the island is... A Crucian Carp. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even think I've ever heard of a Crucian Carp outside of Animal Crossing. Are they actual fish? Somebody let me know in the comments. And here we have our second fish. Let's see what kind we get. Never mind, because I accidentally reeled it in too early. Let me know if you guys do that too. I am so guilty of constantly reeling in my fish way too early. Well, this is technically our third fish that we've found. It is only going to be the second that we've caught because I scared away the second one. And we have yet another Crucian Carp. I mean, I guess we'll just sell the repeats, but it is a little frustrating because the priority here is getting enough that we can give to Tom Nook so that way we can get blathers. 
It also is just a little bit frustrating because I do technically only have flimsy tools right now, and after a certain amount of uses, they do break, but all tools break. It's just unfortunate that the flimsy tools break so quickly. Secondly, it's really frustrating that the gold tools break because if you didn't know, unfortunately, yes, gold tools can break. It's just really weird because in older games, if you had a gold tool, the gold tool wouldn't break. So I find it kind of odd that they chose to change that, but it is what it is. It's the way that my second bug of the island was a literal mosquito. The first one being the sea cockroach, now we got the mosquito. Such bizarre first catches, but hey, I'll take it. They're different bugs, so I can donate both of them. Gotta get the firefly. I almost hit, I don't know if that's Timmy or Tommy. I think that's Tommy, because Timmy's inside. But I almost hit him, I feel so bad. This is probably going to be another Crucian Carp. I'll just sell it if it is. I hope it's not, though. And I'm kind of surprised. I really did believe that we were going to get more fish earlier on than bugs. And here I am already being incorrect, because the only fish that we've caught have been Crucian Carps, and we already have three different kinds of bugs. Never mind! I stand corrected. I really thought it was going to be a Crucian Carp, but it was a Dace. I'm trying to creep up on them. I don't know what kinds of bugs these are, but I see them on the tulips. Let's see if I can creepy creep on them. See if we can catch one. I don't know what they are, but I've definitely haven't caught them yet. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Okay, what is it? What is it? It looks like some sort of cricket. Oh, it's a stink bug. Okay. I should have realized that. It does look like a stink bug now that I think about it. I'm not seeing as many insects anymore, and I'm thinking it's going to help them to spawn if I plant some more flowers. I mean, I do see a few fireflies, but I already caught one, and I'm trying to get different ones so that we can give them to Tom Nook. Another thing that I'm curious about, by the way, speaking of the fireflies, do you guys call them lightning bugs or fireflies? I call them fireflies. Here we have another fish. Let's see what kind we got. And it is a black bass. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they're technically different, but the sea bass and the black bass, whenever they zoom in like that, whenever you first catch them, I feel like they look kind of similar. Like, I feel like they almost look the same. Not fully, but they look definitely similar. Alright, so this is what we have so far for the bugs and the fish. We have a wharf roach, we have a few crucian carps, we have a black bass, a stink bug, a dace, a firefly, and a mosquito. I'm going to go donate these, and then depending on whether or not Tom Nook accepts them, and if we need to catch more, I'll go out and catch more. Hello, Tom Nook! Hi, Lexi. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. I found a creature. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? I forget. Can we do this in bulk or is it one at a time? Please tell me I can do it in bulk. Never mind. It's one at a time. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just very quickly go through all of these and donate all of them and I will get back to you in just a second.
right, so I've given Tom Nook a couple of bugs. I think I gave him literally only one fish, and that seems to already be plenty because he's talking to Blathers. Blathers, is that you? What splendid timing. Yes, yes, do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I am currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Wildwood. Yes, yes, the local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet, but I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Thank you. I, I really tried, Tom Nook. Try to get the premium stuff for you. Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. But I could use your help, Lexi. Alright, I'm excited this year we get to pick a location for the museum. This is a very big deal for the island. And I know aside from resident sources, you can pretty much move, I think, any building. So if I end up changing my mind later, I can just move it. But I would like to just find one official spot for it now. Let's go, let's go find a spot. I really have no idea where I would have put this, especially because I don't really have a vaulting pole or a ladder, so we're kind of limited. But we'll try. We'll try and find a good spot. Alright, so first things first. Here is the map. I'm fairly limited on where I can go. I mean, the section of the island that I'm on, I have a good amount of land, but I just feel like I'm still pretty limited. I'd prefer to put the museum elsewhere, to be honest, but we're gonna work with what we have, and then if I really hate it that badly later on, I can move it. Wisp, hello! I hope he comes over here because I can't go over there, but hello, Wisp, he's so cute! I think I would've put the museum somewhere over here, just so that was kinda out of the way, and then again, if I really hate it that badly, I can move it later. I feel like it might end up being too far away from the river. I'd prefer for it to be a little bit closer. Yeah, I, th I think I want to scoot it back just a little bit. This is still a little bit too far away. It's gonna scoot it back a little bit more if the game lets me just a little bit, a little bit. There we go, that's a lot better. Let's see what it looks like. All right, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, so we have Blather's tent area set up. Well, sort of at least. We have the area sectioned off whenever he moves in. And I do finally have a flimsy axe recipe. Thank goodness, because I didn't have one before. And I need it so that way I can get crafting materials for Timmy and Tommy. Ah, Lexi, I take it you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up? I did. I knew I could count on you, thank you. I'll let Blathers know that he can move in as soon as he wants. The next thing I want to do is craft this flimsy axe and just get as much wood as I possibly can before it breaks. Let's go get the materials and craft ourselves an axe. All right, so it's just branches and I think only a few pieces of stone, if that. It might only be just one piece, I don't fully remember to be honest. We're just gonna get some miscellaneous branches that we find on the ground. There will probably be, yep, that's exactly what I thought, a piece of stone by one of the rocks. I really don't remember how much we needed this, so hopefully I can find at least one more. That would be ideal. And while I'm out here looking, I realize that I haven't really been talking to the builders today, so we should go say hi to them. Hello, Flo. Whoa, where have you been? Did you go on a vacation or something? You should have said something. I was getting worried about you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. You again? Did you forget the thing last time? Okay, rude. That was, that was a little mean. <laughs> oh, hey, big news. I've officially moved on from tent life. I got a house. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit in way more stuff in a house. Plus, now it finally feels like I actually live here instead of just roughing it. Hello, Lyman. Oh, if it isn't Lexi. It's been a while. Are those new clothes? They really show off your biceps. First of all, I don't really have biceps. Secondly, it has not been that long. Yes. Come on, y'all. Uh, <laughs> You're just ready to go, huh? So what do you need, chips? What's the latest? Guess what? I finally own something that even have trouble lifting. Yep, I have a house now. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. The essentials, right? The only things you need. All right, so it's looking like I have enough to go ahead and craft the flimsy axe. Let's go craft that. And hopefully I can at least get a little bit of each kind of wood, to be honest. The flimsy axe will realistically break before I can get enough wood, but we're gonna definitely at least try.
All right, so so far today we have gotten Blabber's tent placed down. We got his area marked off, ready to go whenever he wants to move in. We've talked to Tom Nook. We've talked to Timmy and Tommy. So hopefully I can get enough wood, but I'm really worried it's gonna be one of those scenarios in Animal Crossing where unfortunately the game only spawns like one or two kinds of wood. So far I have a little bit of each, which is realistically what I wanted. I mean, in my perfect world, I'll get all of the wood instantly, but because we only have a flimsy axe to work with and not a treasure island, realistically, will I get all of the wood that I need? Probably not. You guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Did I try and catch it? I have a net with me. I kind of want to catch it. I'm scared though. What if it kills me? I'm gonna try. You gotta hold my hand, you guys. Are you holding my hand? Pretend like you're holding my hand, okay? Okay? I'm gonna try and get it. This is probably a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Come on, not gonna get it. Oh, I got it! I normally don't get them. We seem to be a bit luckier this time around because it happens to me very often whenever I make new islands where I only get one kind of wood at first and we seem to be getting a variety so fingers crossed I can at least get close to having enough. Watch me having said that and then like in a minute or two I only get hardwood or only softwood or something. Watch that happen I just totally ruined it for myself. Not the wasps! Get away from me! No! Okay I literally- okay sorry for being loud that's probably very loud I am so sorry. I'll put a volume warning whenever I edit this but that's so unfortunate. I was trying to press A to go inside the tent to hide. And then I got attacked anyways. Also, there is another scorpion. I feel like I've taken too many risks. I already caught the other one. That was a huge risk. And then the wasps came after me. But you know what? No risk, no reward. That's not even how the saying goes, but it's fine. Let's try and catch the other scorpion. I don't even know where it is. I can't see it anymore. You guys, I'm scared. <gasps> there it is. I see it. R.I.P. All right, so unfortunately the flimsy axe has broken, but let's see how many of each kind of wood that I got. In total with the one flimsy axe, I got 17 hardwood, 11 of the normal wood, and then 10 softwood. Okay, so fortunately I've just found one more piece of stone. I don't really have a shovel or a spare axe to hit the rocks with to be able to get other materials, so we're just trying to focus on the wood at the moment. I'm gonna craft one last flimsy axe and I will let you guys know just how much wood I get from it. All right, you guys, so that flimsy axe has broken. Let's see how much of each kind of wood that I have now that I've used two axes. I have 21 softwood, 29 hardwood, and 24 normal wood. While I was searching, I did actually find one last piece of stone. I thought the other one was the last piece, but this one is the last piece. I'm gonna go on one more spree of hitting the trees and I should have enough wood by then. Realistically, I will not be able to fully give Timmy and Tommy everything they need, but I'll definitely get all the wood today. All right, so I finally have 30 of each type of wood. I do not have any iron nuggets, unfortunately, but we're gonna go ahead and give Timmy all the wood that we found. All right, now we're asking for donations to get the materials we need to build a shop. I'd like to donate. We will make a donation. Thank you so much for helping us. Right now you have some softwood, wood, and hardwood. You want to donate 30 of each? Yes, I do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. Today though, I feel like was rather productive. We got Blather's area set aside. We gave Tom Nook some donations. We got a bunch of wood to give to Timmy and Tommy for their shop. We'll definitely get some iron nuggets next time. I didn't really get any this time. But with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye everyone.